I'm here today with Dr. Tony Hines, Professor of Applied Physics and Photon Science at Stanford University. Dr. Hines served as President of the Optical Society in 2012 and as Fellow of the Optical Society and the American Physical Society. Dr. Hines is one of our plenary speakers here at Clio 2015 in San Jose, California. Dr. Hines, what do you plan to share with our plenary attendees today during your plenary session? Well, it's been about 10 years now since graphene was first identified and uh, its properties studied. So I'm going to give a little bit of an overview of progress in that field, particularly with respect to applications of photonics. But I'll also discuss what we call 2D beyond graphene, so other new materials that are emerging and some of their very interesting and distinctive properties. You mentioned applications of graphene and other 2D materials. Where do you see their greatest potential? The field is actually very young. The studies just began 10 years ago and in, in the context of semiconductors only about five years ago. So it's uh, emerging very rapidly. Uh, I think there are many interesting possibilities, specifically in photonics, in addition to uh, directions people are pursuing in electronics. I also believe that maybe the biggest uh, impact is still going to come when we learn how to combine materials in completely new ways that we really haven't thought of and we develop kinds of applications that are completely different from what we can do with conventional materials. Dr. Hines, we have a number of students who attend Clio. For students who have not yet selected their field of study, which has its greatest potential for growth? Well, of course, I'm very uh, partial to my own subfield, which is the optical properties of materials, and uh, you know, would recommend that to anyone. But I think maybe the best advice I could give is to pick something that you find really fascinating, and there are, there are lots of interesting things that are going to be presented here at the conference, uh, because it's, it's very difficult to determine how science and technology are going to evolve. Uh, I've, I've really had a, a marvelous time studying these two-dimensional materials, but that was something that was absolutely uh, not on anybody's radar screen when I was a graduate student, so I could never have decided to prepare for that subfield. So I would uh, you know, recommend getting a very solid base in, in different uh, subfields as broadly as possible and then you know, follow your instincts and intuition about what's exciting. Thank you, Dr. Hines. We look forward to your plenary presentation later today. Thank you.